So that's how you understand the audience context. And that's our step one. Once you understand that, we dive in and see what approach you would take based on the questions to answer these questions. So that's where we look at the three types of analytics approach, descriptive, diagnostic, and predictive. Descriptive is where you're looking at backward uh, focused questions. How did my revenue grow last month? Diagnostic answers the why question. Why is something happening? Why did customer satisfaction dip? Predictive is the forward looking questions. What will it be next month? Uh, those are the uh, more advanced uh, questions which you can ask. And by the way, in, in case you're missing the prescriptive analytics, I don't use that consciously because whether you're doing descriptive or diagnostic, you always need to have a prescriptive element to it. You need to answer the so what, even if you're doing simple descriptive analytics. I've seen in, in my sessions, I run these uh, uh, trainings for, for organizations. I've often seen that until people get to prescriptive, they say that, okay, I found the answer with descriptive diagnostic. It is sufficient that I understand I don't need to communicate or make a recommendation. That's a big mistake. So you have to have a prescriptive element for all three levels. Once you understand, once you pick the, uh, the types, and just to illustrate, I have two examples. So if you were trying to understand what's really warming the world, this is a why question. Why is this happening? So let's switch. You should be able to see my screen. Uh, uh, I'm switching to the browser. This is from Bloomberg. So um, we're asking the question, what's really warming the world? And this is the observed temperature. Skeptics of man-made climate change. So they talk about various factors like volcanic activity, the Earth's orbit, that these could be uh, the reasons. Here in this brilliant visualization, they talk about all the other changes, the other factors and how they've changed over the last 125 years. The sun, uh, volcanic activity, and they add up all these, th all these three and say that if you put even these three together, it doesn't explain the observed temperature. You go further down deforestation, ozone pollution, and aerosol pollution. None of these really explain it. It's only when you bring in greenhouse gases. That's when you see the, the curve inching up. And finally, you can conclude saying, if you bring all of these together, this perfectly explains the observed temperature and hence we know what is really causing um, global warming. So that's an example of diagnostic analytics. I'll share the, the, uh, the other one for predictive. Uh, we may not have the time, I'll, I'll share this later. Um, so it's important to look at the approach. Once you have the approach, now is when you think about data, not in step one, not in early stage of step two, only after you have the approach, you see whether data can solve the problem. If yes, go ahead with that. Otherwise, there could be other solutions to the business problem. You don't have to force fit it. And when you're thinking about data, go beyond your internal sources. Uh, this again is a common thing when I, uh, when I advise organizations. They try to over-optimize with the internal data and a lot of companies don't use the internal data fully. So it's, it's, it's the right thing to do. But you should go beyond your internal sources. There are data sets, uh, public data sets on, on GitHub, Kaggle, uh, on Google, or you can have uh, the, the national census, the weather API. There are so many sources which you can tap into and understand about your customers, about the market. And uh, a recommendation to uh, find hidden insights, this is a question I commonly get. How do I find hidden insights? You need to look, look in unusual places to find hidden insights. Go for granular data, not just rolled up daily summaries, but second or sub-second. Look for unstructured data, about 70 to 80% of organizational data is text, pictures, videos. It's not used. Look at that and look at external data. So once you have uh, all of these, you would be able to uh, come up with the approach and collect the data. A quick question here. Um, this is again an exercise you can probably answer this and do let me know. If you were to uh, tag the analytical approach to each of these questions, what would these be? By the way, the first one is diagnostics. You can answer the rest. 